Welcome. I am Broadmouth Health Coach Corey Lewis. Uh, I am joined today by my friend and certified perinatal mental health professional, Christine Young. Uh, Christine specializes in postpartum depression and anxiety. She offers individual therapy for those struggling with postpartum depression and anxiety. Christine, thank you so much for being here. Hi, happy to be here. Yeah, so Christine, tell us a little bit about mood disorders during pregnancy and postpartum. So we're talking about um, from as soon as you know baby is, is, is arrived, that pregnancy period all the way through baby's first birthday. We're covering a long period of time uh, where mood disorders can kind of be more present and um, it can be effective from 10 to 15 percent of moms uh, have some kind of mood disorder from anxiety, depression, OCD, uh, panic disorder, and bipolar disorder. Okay, so you know, what are some symptoms of perinatal mood disorders? Um, is this are similar to uh, the same symptoms that you would see with depression, anxiety, and OCD? You have lack of sleep when you can sleep. Um, lack of appetite, sadness, um, increased anxiety to an, a point where you are slowing, having difficulty functioning. Um, intrusive thoughts can also be a symptom. It can just kind of range depending on what's going on. Right. It just depends on where you're at. I get it. Um, who is at risk of developing postpartum depression? Every mom is at risk of developing postpartum uh, mood disorders. And, you know, you can have... Um, you know, your first baby, your third baby, your sixth baby, but that first baby is usually one of the risk factors. Then you also have, um, if you have multiple children, if you are already predisposed to uh, mental health issues, if you already have depression before you got pregnant, that would be an issue. Mm -hmm. um, personality traits like perfectionism or wanting to be a super mom mm -hmm. can sometimes amp up your anxiety symptoms. So just multiple risk factors. Okay. Do mood disorders only affect the mother? Of course not. Um, they affect the whole family and they also affect dad um, as well because he's having the same type of challenges that mom is just in different ways. Right, right. That makes sense. Um, if someone thinks they may need help, what should they do? Go to your doctor first. I mean, a lot of moms will start with their OB or midwife or their primary care provider are perfect places to start and they can get a referral to someone like me. Awesome. Well, I appreciate everything you do here. I'm sure our community does as well. If you are listening and you want to learn more about what we do here at Broadmonds, feel free to reach out to us at www.broadmonds.org.